This is the coolest mountain bike I have ever seen. The Specialized SL Levo Kids Edition. Now this bike's super cool for the simple reason it's a Specialized and pretty much everything they put together with a purpose comes out excellent. Like the whole system package. So this Kids Edition Levo SL features an 1142 SRAM NX group set. Now this is definitely a big upgrade from those Walmart bikes, but it does have a little bit of a limited range as far as climbing, with the biggest gear in the back being 42 and having a standard 32 front chain ring. This is easy, we just get a 28 tooth front chain ring and a 12 speed and this thing will literally climb anything. Now I know what you're thinking, why is that important? Well, I live in an area with super big hills. If you live in Florida where it's flat, this will not be an issue, but if you have big fire road climbs, you need more low end torque to climb steeper hills. The build quality on this bike is precisely the same as a regular Specialized Levo. We have the same colors, decent paint, you know, Specialized doesn't have the best paint on the market, most bikes don't. We got 24 inch wheels and if we look at one component at a time, you're like, ah, it's kind of garbage. But like I said before, you got to scroll out and look at the whole system. And that's when this bike becomes awesome. The standout feature of this bike is on the screen. We got the specialized SL motor, the second generation. There's definitely some big improvements in this motor. It's quieter. It's more powerful and it's a little bit more heavy because I just weighed it. The original SL motor is this one and it looks precisely the same and it fits in the bike. There are some serious improvements with the second generation motor that's in the kids Levo SL. The original one here was a little bit noisy and underpowered. One thing you should know about the kids Levo edition, it has some special software that limits the speed to 10 miles an hour, but you can go to the dealer and turn it up to 16 miles an hour. And as you'd guess, this bike comes with the Mastermind TCU so you can tune your kid's output for his progressing skills. The battery is internally sealed in the kid's Levo edition. It's the 320 watt battery, and it's definitely on the smaller side if you're not familiar with battery sizes. You cannot remove this battery unless you pull the motor out of the bike, and that is kind of a bummer because it does take quite a bit of time to charge it. I'm sure there's some engineering problems with getting a removable battery from these small lightweight bikes. So if you're made out of money, there is the range extender that plugs into the standard charging port. I don't know if it works, but I'm guessing the Levo SL range extender is gonna work on this. The kids Levo edition is pretty awesome. Another cool fact, we got 155 millimeter cranks. If you're not familiar with cranks, basically it's got some short cranks so the kid doesn't pedal strike. And obviously he's gonna have some shorter legs. The bottom line is, this is an authentic mountain bike. Check out that bash guard and skid plate. How many kids bikes from Walmart come with stuff like that? This bike has pokier pedals than comes on the standard Levo. And you gotta have bloody shins to be a mountain biker. So when we get up here into the cockpit, it's pretty impressive because the kid's gonna have a dropper post and all the same controls as his dad. The only questionable thing I can find on this bike is the SRAM level brake levers. If you're familiar with SRAM guides, this is essentially the same lever. They take quite a bit of force to pull and the reach is far out. I would have liked to seen some tiny little Shimano levers for the kid's hands. Single piston calipers, are definitely on the smaller side. But remember, this is power to weight and the kid's probably gonna weigh 100 pounds, so this should be sufficient stopping force. Unfortunately, I don't have any kids and I'm over six feet too, so let me ride this around the yard. You can ride this if you're an adult, like shuttle it up the hill. It features an air shock on the front, a rock shock Reba, which is not the best fork, but perfectly good for its intended purpose of getting a kid started and stoked on mountain biking. So go buy this bike 